Good afternoon, I'm Sean Preble, and you're watching Mediaplex Live at One. In our top story, it's over to Sochi, where our women's hockey team is taking on the U.S. for a gold medal. Right now, both teams have yet to score at the start of the second period. The Canadian men's team takes on the United States in a semi-final game tomorrow. The winner of that game will go on to play for the gold medal. Students have a lot on their minds, including student loans and the debt that goes with it. As Mandy Matthews reports, there are ways to deal with it. According to Statistics Canada, more than one half of all Ontario college students graduate with student debt. 24-year-old St. Clair College student Nate Hope is paying his tuition with the money he earns as an apprentice bricklayer. During that time, like, uh, there's a lot of things I was unsure of, like maybe a little bit uh, confused about where I should no, direct my finances at that point. Aside from tuition debt, 80% of graduating college seniors also have credit card debt before they have a job. Executive Director of Financial Fitness Windsor Center Wendy Dupuy says it is within reason for students to go into debt while pursuing a college education. Borrowing money makes it a, that item available in the short term. For instance, a car. Uh, student loan to finance a college education. Dupuy also says it's important to develop a financial plan in order to avoid extraordinary debt, which can become unmanageable. I'm Mandy Matthews reporting for Mediaplex News Now. It's a rough road for some dogs. Stacy Janzer went to a nonprofit animal shelter to find out more. <coughs> The old saying, you can't buy love, isn't really the case here. For the love of paws, a pet rescue nonprofit works in Windsor, Essex, placing dogs. Just around for a short period of time, they've been able to find homes for a lot of dogs. I, just over a year, yes. Uh, we've brought in over 120 dogs. We've adopted out over 100 dogs. Bruno is one of their success stories. Um, he came in as a owner surrender uh, with his father and his siblings. Uh, yes, we were able to bring Bruno and his father over, so both have been adopted. After the Browns family's two dogs died, they weren't sure when they would be ready for a new dog. We had seen uh, Bruno's picture on the computer and, um, you know, if we, we knew that we uh, uh, liked him a lot when we saw him and when we met him in person, um, you know, there was really no question, you know, we knew that we that he deserved to have uh, a warm home and a happy family to love him. So This rescue agency takes in dogs from as far as Lebanon. Go through an organization, uh, Beta, um, and last summer we brought in four, and just this January we brought in our two, and then we're going to be bringing in four more again in the summer. Where the love of paws has put together a petition to have stricter bylaws for pet safety in harsh weather because we've had dogs come in that were actually frozen to the ground in their own feces. Yeah, we've rescued um, one little dog, uh, I want to say Buddy, came in and he was, they, sh they cut a barrel in half and that was his dog house and he was frozen to the ground. Right now, these puppies are looking for a home and more become available every day. For Mediaplex News, I'm Stacy Janzer. The case of a missing woman whose car was found in Harrow has resulted in the arrest of two Harrow residents. Loretta Saunders is a 26-year-old university student who was reported missing February 17th. She was last seen February 13th in the Cowie Hill Road area in Halifax, where she lives. Turning to weather, today we are expecting some rain showers with a high of 5 degrees Celsius. Tonight, we're expecting some thunder showers and a high of 6. And then, guess what? Tomorrow, we are back to snow flurries with a high of 1 degree. In the game right now, Canada is still tied with no points apiece with the Americans. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sean Preble, and this is Mediaplex Live at 1.